Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Significance of Skin Graft in Romans 11. Lord will you are edified, my source. WebMD.com and skin grafts defined as this is often used for burn patients. Skin is removed from one area of the body and transplanted to another. Let's read that again. Skin grafts. This is often used for burn patients skin is removed from one area of the body and transplanted to another for example a person has a burn on their arm and therefore skin is removed from one source of their body to cover that burn on their arm okay and their skin comes from their body, not an Ammonite's body, not an Elamite's body, not an Edomite's body, okay? Second source, GettyImages.com. And what you are witnessing is a wound on this person's foot. Okay, and you see the brown part, which is a knit, okay, which is what? Skin. Let's get more detail on this picture. It states, the mesh, and when you define mesh, it means knit, referring to this brown part which is skin, okay? The mesh lying on the wound is skin, harvest, and expanded from another part of the man's leg. Meaning what? The skin came from another part of the man's body. The skin will assimilate into the wound and the skin cells will multiply, creating new skin. Romans 11 and 13, for I speak to you Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, in as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, Israelites, okay, I magnify my office, and this is Apostle Paul speaking within the Holy Spirit. Let's jump down to verse 16. For if the first fruit be holy, first fruit defined as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The lump is also holy, referring to their descendants, hence the 12 tribes of Israel. And if the root be holy, beginning with Abraham, so are the branches. Okay, so are the branches, referring to the southern kingdom. All right, verse 17. And if some of the branches, hence the southern kingdom, be broken off, and thou, referring to who? Gentiles, which are Israelites, being a wild olive tree, wert grafted in among them. Let's focus on grafted. According to the Greek Strong's G, 1461, Egkentrizo. 
which means to cut in two for the sake of inserting a scion. When you explore a scion, it means what? A descendant. Okay? To cut in two for the sake of inserting a descendant. Okay? Let's go back. And if some of the branches, hence the southern kingdom, be broken off, and thou, referring to Gentiles, which are Israelites, being a wild olive tree, wert grafted in among them. And the reason why the Gentiles were grafted in among them is because they were Israelites. Okay? They are Israelites. And with them partakes of the root and fatness of the olive tree, meaning what? They get the promises received by Abraham from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai leading into what? The kingdom of heaven. Why? Because they are Israelites. Okay? That's the reason why they were grafted in. And the significance of a skin graft is what? When a wound is on a person's body, skin is transported from that person's body and not from another person's body. Hence, skin graft, which is defined as what? Often used for burned patients, skin is, is like a skin is removed from one area of the body and transplanted to another. Okay? This is the significance of skin graft to Romans 11 and 16, 11 and 17. All right, and more proof. Um, hence, wild olive tree in Romans 11 and 17. Let's go to Jeremiah 11 and 16. The Lord Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree. Hence, Romans 11 and 17. Fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, meaning what? Other nations came upon us and took us to slavery. Why? Because we broke the law, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High. And the branches of it are broken. Okay? And for other proof, let's jump to Romans 11 and 25. For I will not brethren... That ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. That blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Meaning what? That appointed number within the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Verse 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. And like I stated before, within the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. 
these Gentiles, which are Israelites, were grafted in among them because they are Israelites. Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.